Hello, YouTube community. So typically on my Instagram stories, I do a gorgeous object of the day series. And this has really taken off um, with my small following on Instagram. People love the gorgeous objects of the day series where I source a beautiful object I found online and I call it my weird algorithm hack. So I have tweaked my algorithm for the past, or quite literally algorithm for the past um, few years, finding gorgeous objects across sites around the world. And typically there are a series of principles I'm following to find really, really cool, unique objects that you would never find at a Crate and Barrel or West Elm. And this is something that I want to bring to you as an audience because I'm getting great feedback. So um, YouTube community, let's get into it. How do I source gorgeous objects and what are some gorgeous objects I'm finding online and how might they plug in to your day-to-day -day living? Let me know what you think about the gorgeous object series. I'm an interior designer based in Nashville and it's really important to me that I give my clients a personalized, unique home and experience working with me and that's why I treasure this little weird algorithm I'm referring to so much that I've tweaked over the years. So for starters, what am I looking for in the gorgeous objects? I keep looking down because I have my Pinterest pulled up right here. I do a lot of my sourcing on Pinterest and I find that there are great faults with the algorithms on Instagram and um, TikTok and um, a lot of other social media platforms that want to give us things to shop from, whereas Pinterest just has me figured out. They really know what I'm looking for. So I want to talk through some um, things I'm looking for, some things I'm seeing that will really serve you well in your search for home goods. All right, so the first thing I'm seeing are these gorgeous ceramic nesting measuring clips. And what I'm looking for here is, is this something that is um, artisanal, that has been handmade, is gorgeous, and also is unique. I, I can't deny it. I love like an authentic, unique spin. And so these measuring cups are an absolute dream. Um, another one that I'm loving recently is this marigold oval bowl. And the craftsmanship is gorgeous. It's handmade on Etsy and the yellow and the green really work for me. I'm not gonna say it's a budget friendly piece, but definitely a great gift or a splurge for a friend. And then I am loving really colorful feminine art, art that Barbie might hang in her house. <laughs> I said it, okay, it is what it is. But for example, this Olivia's house print that is being sold on Etsy is gorgeous and very budget friendly. Um, yeah, I, I just love a great feeling piece of art um, that is really well done. And bonus if it's from a small shop owned by a female owner. That's something I really care about. And then um, next I want to share these gorgeous different um, lampshades. And I will try my best to share lampshades with you um, from many different places. But right now I'm really into anything that is a scalloped linen lampshade. So if you were to just Google scalloped linen lampshade, you'd probably get some good results. But here's my thing. Anything that is more English inspired is going to be produced the most authentically and in my opinion with the best craftsmanship from an English shop. That's not gonna come up in your Google shopping results and that's why I love Pinterest. Um, they, they do not care where it's sourced from in the world. They want you to repin it. So that's why um, looking on Pinterest is sometimes the most helpful for shopping across the world. That's just my little hot tip. Um, definitely use Pinterest to explore different pieces from all over, all over the world. So again, I'm loving this scalloped linen lampshade and I'll show you a few results. All right, and then I wanna talk a little bit about what I'm loving as far as art is concerned. Um, so we did touch on that piece from earlier that's a little bit more colorful, but 
I don't know if you've also struggled with this, so please let me know in the comments if you've also struggled with this. I have struggled to find good vintage art or vintage inspired art. Have you struggled to find good vintage art or vintage inspired art? Because I'm not liking my results at the Hobby Lobby. So on Etsy, I finally found a couple of vendors I'm just obsessed with as far as their art pieces. So the first one is this figure drawing um, and they call it a French country replica. Um, this is on Etsy and this shop owner has, is doing some figure drawings that's really gorgeous and they um, are also uh, shipping in the frame so you can have it framed which is huge for me i want to just go ahead and have it framed so i don't have to fool with going anywhere else that is just me and their whole shop is also full of other good looking vintage art so i will go ahead and link them um also just saying um oh this is called niche art gallery and they are a um, star seller so niche art gallery will be linked and then also I'm obsessed with this quail print um, and this is from Krista Kim studio this can also um, be sent to you framed and yeah two great vintage pieces so I think what sets it apart for me these two vintage pieces compared to like other vintage art pieces I've seen is I do not want it to look like that my vintage inspired or vintage art pieces have um, come from a house with a curse on, on it one <laughs> I don't want to need to sage the shit out of my piece I just got from Goodwill although I do love a good Goodwill find and then secondly I really want it to not have like any creepy sexist motifs um, that give me the willies yeah that probably goes without saying third I definitely um, want it to feel fresh in some way. I don't want it to feel like it came from McGee & Co. from Target um, or you can just spot it in Crate & Barrel, although I have made my own Crate & Barrel art purchase before um, and I'm very happy with my Cater Bully piece. So yeah, just some things to keep in mind. Those are some guidelines I think about when I'm looking for art. And then finally, I am so picky about bed frames. And I have found that bed frames are really, really hard to source. And recently I ran across this um, Garnet Hill wooden bed frame. It's called the Tulip Bed. And it is just beyond gorgeous. The craftsmanship looks so good. And I love it in this darker wood color. I love pieces that look timeless are vintage inspired but also updated and with the, that same principle that brings me to this rectangular rotating wall mirror mirror oh my god rectangular wall rectangular rotating wall mirror say that five times fast from Modi store Modi store it's from Modi store and this is just a gorgeous piece, again, following those same principles of like timeless, but also a little bit updated with some added functionality because it is also um, twisting. So as far as sourcing is concerned, I want to let the cat out of the bag a little bit that I'm not opposed to an anthro living moment or an urban outfitters moment. And that is probably the most controversial thing I've ever said because I've noticed they have really have updated their styles recently and seem to have um, some fun little accent pieces. And I could just go on and on about the different gorgeous, unique um, objects that I'm finding online. However, I do want to make sure that the pieces I'm showing you today are very shoppable. So with that, all of these pieces I've listed today, I hope are attainable, shoppable, interesting. And I wonder how do these fit in your home? How does this fit in with your design aesthetic? Would you like me to do another video that covers gorgeous objects, objects that are catching your eye? please let me know. It's been so fun to go over these gorgeous objects with you and do a little rundown of what's going on in my Pinterest feed with my weird little algorithm. It's been so fun connecting and I hope you have a great weekend ahead. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.